Shalom, dear family and friends. Shalom from Israel. We trust that you and yours are doing well during this holiday season. And uh, we've just come through the Feast of Lights and uh, coming up upon uh, the holiday season with Christmas and the New Year. And uh, we send our love and greeting to you. We thank you so much for your prayers. And we're continuing on in Proverbs chapter 2. We're marking the promises of the Word of God to equip ourselves to know and to hang on to these promises and to share them with others. So if you have some kind of marker or highlighter, open to Proverbs 2. And really, Proverbs chapter 2, like many of these chapters, it's hard to find much in here that isn't a promise. But he says, My son, if thou will receive my words, see if, it's conditional, if you receive the word of Almighty God, given to us by the prophets, by the king of Israel, King Solomon. I've been pondering on these words this morning. He reigned here in Jerusalem for 40 years and was the wisest man ever until the coming of the Messiah. My son, he said, if, and he calls, he calls you son, he's writing this for his posterity, and then God is using this to equip you as a son or daughter of the king to know wisdom understanding, insight, and knowledge. If you will receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, so shalt thou incline thy ear unto wisdom and apply thy heart unto understanding. He says again in verse number three, if you cry after knowledge. In verse four, if you seek her as silver or hidden treasures. Look at verses five through 12. Let's mark verses 5 through 12 as one big promise. Then thou shalt understand the fear of the Lord. Yud hey vav hey, Adonai Yahweh. Then you shall understand. If you seek, then you will find. Then you shall understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. Find the knowledge of Elohim. And that's what I wish for you today that you would find this knowledge that comes through the enlightening of the Holy Spirit to know the true Messiah of Israel, Yeshua, who gave his life and took it again so that anyone who believes can have forgiveness of sins, atonement, and he becomes their Passover lamb. You'll have that knowledge if you seek. Look at Mark verses 6 through 12, 5 through 12, picking up in verse 6. For Yahweh Adonai, the Lord, for the Lord giveth wisdom, chokmah, wisdom, and out of his mouth cometh knowledge, dea, and understanding, bina. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. He keepeth the paths of judgment. He preserveth the ways, the way of his saints, his holy ones. Then shalt thou understand righteousness. A lot of people in this world don't understand righteousness because they're in spiritual darkness. They've refused the light. They need to seek the light. They need to seek after God's light and it will grow and it will come as the dawning and it's by hearing the word of God. He keeps the paths of judgment, preserves the way of his saints. You'll understand righteousness and judgment and equity, yea, every good path. You'll begin to understand. When wisdom entereth into thine heart and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul. You've got to love, develop a taste for knowledge and wisdom and understanding. And insight. Verse 11. Discretion shall preserve thee. And understanding shall keep thee. He gives us this wisdom so that we might be preserved and blessed. To deliver thee from the way of evil, the evil man. And from the man that speak, seeks froward things. 
Verse 16, it's to deliver us from the strange woman. Mark verses 20 through 22. That thou mayest walk in the way of good men and keep the paths of the righteous. For the upright shall dwell in the land and the perfect shall remain in it. But the wicked shall be cut off from the earth and the transgressors shall be rooted out of it. And this specifically, the earth here is Eretz. It's specifically talking about the land of Israel, God's people not being plucked out. But we enter into the land of rest through the Messiah. And we enter into his peace. And we are following his way. Amen. Look at verse 3, 1 through 2 of chapter 3. My son or my daughter, forget not my law. That word there's Torah. Do not forget my Torah, my law. But let thine heart keep my commandments for length of days and long life and peace. Shalom shall they add to thee. Amen. Mark verses 4 through 10. So yet thou shalt find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust Yahweh Adonai. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. For the fear of Yahweh Adonai, the fear of the Lord, and depart from evil. Fear the Lord and depart evil. It shall be health to thy navel and marrow to all thy bones. Honor Yahweh Adonai. Honor the Lord with thy substance and with the firstfruits of all thine increase. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Pressed down, shaken together, shall men pour into thy bosom. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Amen. Look at verses um, 9. Honor the Lord with thy substance. Look at verse 10. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty. And thy presses shall burst out with new wine. In verse 11, he says, My son, despise not chastening and correction of the Lord. Look at verses 12 through verse 26. Another big promise after promise after promise. For whom the Lord Yahweh loveth, he correcteth even as a father the son in whom he delighteth. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom and the man that getteth understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver and the gain thereof than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies and all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her length of days is in her right hand and in her left hand riches and honor her ways are ways of pleasantness and all her paths are peace shalom peace shalom she is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her and happy is everyone that retaineth her. Yahweh Adonai, the Lord, by wisdom hath founded the earth. By understanding, he has established the heavens. By his knowledge, the depths are broken up and the clouds drop down the dew. My son, let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep sound wisdom and 
discretion. So they shall be life unto thy soul and grace unto thy neck. Then thou shalt walk in thy way safely, and thy foot shall not stumble. When thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. Yea, thou shalt lie down, and thy sleep shall be sweet. How many people have insomnia today? Some of that can be a chemical balance, what you ate, what you drank, but a lot of it is just worry and fearing. Men's hearts will fail for fearing the things that are about to come upon the earth, the Bible says. Be not afraid, verse 25, of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked when it cometh. Rest in Him. Don't worry about anything. Pray about everything. For the Lord Yahweh shall be thy confidence and shall keep thy foot from being taken. Amen. Amen. Let's mark verses 32 through 35. 32 through the end of the chapter as another big promise. For the fro it is an abomination to the Lord Yahweh, but his secret is with the righteous. He reveals himself to those who are upright and who are humble. Many people say, well, I just don't understand the gospel. I don't understand the word of God. Of course you don't. You're wicked. You're not seeking him. You're proud. You're stuck up. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. Amen. Whoever exalts himself shall be humbled and whoever abases himself shall be exalted. Amen and amen. Verses 32 to 35. For the froward is abomination to the Lord Yahweh, but his secret is with the righteous. Don't you want to know his secrets? When other people are confused and don't understand because they refuse to seek him, don't you want to let him reveal to you spiritual knowledge? Amen, I know you do. The curse of the Lord, verse 33, is in the house of the wicked. But he blesseth the habitation of the just. Surely he scorneth the scorners. But he giveth grace unto the lowly. Amen. The wise shall inherit glory. I pray that's you today. You're going to inherit the glory of God. The wise shall inherit glory. But shame shall be the promotion of fools. Oy vavoy, we say in Hebrew. Oh my goodness. Shame shall be given to fools. But honor and glory to those who seek the Lord. Amen. Share these promises with others. Love you so much. Continue to pray for us. We're praying for you. God bless you. And shalom from Israel. Many hugs and kisses. Mwah.